The local sewers and painters showcased their creation over the weekend for the Robin Reflection event. 200 people flooded to see some of the town's best artists and creators. Ngalamana Ejibundi woman Sherry Walker was one successful business at the event with Nyumari. Nyumari sells bush remedies using indigenous knowledge and ingredients to make their products. The interest is just massive. I've had, we're sending products to Adelaide, New South Wales. We've also had, um, we did a little promotion packs, Mother's Day packs. A lady asked me if I could send to the UK, you know, so yeah, the interest is just growing massively. Artist and fashion designer Rachel Koo travelled from Exmat for the festival and says the event is important, bringing together all cultures in Australia to showcase their art. We are a vibrant people and we would like to sell all this to people who are interested in our culture, our history, our colours that we see everywhere. We have a beautiful history, all Indigenous people have a beautiful history and we would like to showcase all of that. I think it's an amazing um, time to show Roburn off um, as the wonderful place that it really is. There's the best uh, artists in, in the world here, that live right here in Roburn. One of these artists, Julora artist Jane Chidi, has been nominated for the Telstra Indigenous Art Award for painting Ngalawili. So, um, well, I didn't know, hear any, know anything about it until my daughter, she said, Oh, Mum, there's something about you on Facebook. And, um, and I had a look, she showed me and I had a look and she said, oh, you're, you're a finalist in the Telstra Award. And I said, oh, oh, that's good. It hasn't sunk in until a oh, couple of days later uh, that, uh, you know, when people came, kept coming up to me and saying, congratulations, congratulations. And I was thinking, oh, why, why congratulate me? With the success of this year's Robe and Reflection, it's likely the event will return next year. Brandon Cook for Ngada News, Robin.